Prosecutors in New York have subpoenaed eight years worth of President Trump's tax returns as part of its investigation into hush money payments made to two women alleging affairs with Mr. Trump ahead of the 2016 election. The story was first reported by the New York Times. Let's bring in CNN's uh, Kara Scannell. Kara, prosecutors want not only the president's personal returns, but also those of the Trump organization, you say. Yeah, Jake, that's right. Sources tell us that the subpoena from the district attorney's office that's for New York County, that's Cy Vance, that they have subpoenaed Muzars, that's the accounting firm that has covered both Donald Trump's personal tax returns and the returns of the Trump Organization. The subpoena is seeking those returns going back to 2011. Now, this is the most recent move in this investigation, which is only a couple of weeks old, where the state prosecutors are looking into the Trump Organization and whether any state laws were violated in the payments of those hush money payments to women Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, who had alleged affairs to the president. As we reported last week, prosecutors from that office interviewed Michael Cohen, the president's former personal attorney and fixer, as part of that investigation. Now they have also subpoenaed the accounting firm trying to get both the personal and corporate tax returns of Donald Trump and the organization as part of this investigation, where they're looking to see if any state laws were violated, including possibly providing false business records relating to how Michael Cohen was re burst, Jake. All right. Thank you so much, Carica Scannell. Let's uh, have some expert analysis of this news now uh, with Carrie Cordero. She's a former counsel to the U.S. Assistant Attorney General. Uh, Carrie, so good to see you as always. So as you heard uh, Carica Scannell just, just mention, we know prosecutors recently visited with Michael Cohen, who's in prison mm -hmm. uh, for his role in this, these hush money payments, partially, um, in recent weeks. Do you think that that is part of this? It could be. So if it was the same prosecutors, which I understand that it was, and again, these are state prosecutors, Manhattan DA, not federal prosecutors. If they went to go see Michael Cohn, one of the things that they could have been asking him was information that would help guide what they put into the subpoena. So the subpoena went to Trump organization and Trump personal uh, tax attorney, uh, tax accountants. And so he might have been able to give them some kind of guidance about here's what you should be looking for, you know, here's who prepared them. Here's some specific information that you could put in the subpoena so that the subpoena was targeted. So let's assume that the prosecutors are successful and they're able to subpoena these eight years worth of tax returns of Mr. President Trump personally and as well as the Trump Organization. Does that mean that ultimately the public will finally get to see the tax returns? That would be a long way down a path. So I think what's going to happen is, first of all, I would expect um, Donald Trump and the Trump Organization to see if their lawyers can intervene in some way and perhaps try to negotiate narrowing the scope of the subpoena. Then the way that the documents themselves and the information obtained pursuant to the subpoena would end up being public is if there was actually a case. Evidence gathered in an investigation is not made public if there's not an actual prosecution and evidence used in that prosecution. So I think th we're still a long way away from actually seeing those documents in this particular investigation. And of course, this is not the first subpoena issued in an attempt to get the president's tax returns. Uh, Democrats in Congress, uh, I think the House Ways and Means Committee, mm -hmm. uh, have subpoenaed the president's banks for these documents. They have not gotten them yet. Is there any sense that this attempt made by the Manhattan DA would be more successful? Well, it's just different because it's using criminal investigative and state law means to get it versus on the congressional side, Congress is having to fight these constitutional issues with respect to whether Congress can get a president's uh, tax returns. One issue though, because there is this political request for the information, I do think the New York DA is a little bit at risk of appearing to be doing investigations for political purposes. And that's a risk because we've seen this president uh, want to see investigations that are for political retribution. And so the DA is going to have to be really careful that they have a legitimate basis for this case and that this is not politically motivated.